Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw these simple tree icons. First, select the Polygon tool, click on the artboard and drag your mouse. While still holding your mouse, press the down arrow key a few times to get a triangle shape. Let's move the bottom of the bounding box up. Next, switch to the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point and drag it up just a tiny bit. Switch to the Curvature tool, click on this path and create a curve. Select the shape and then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Let's create three copies. Next, highlight the value in the scale window, be sure the chain link is active and then press the up arrow key on your keyboard to increase the size. And let's change the vertical move value to about 74 pixels. Next, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Go to Object again and choose Ungroup All. Switch to the Rectangle tool and create a small trunk. Select the bottom shape and then press the letter O for the Reflect tool. Be sure the axis is set to the vertical position and then click Copy. Select everything and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Now click, hold and drag to create new shapes. To delete a shape, hold down the ALT key while dragging your mouse. Let's group everything together. For the next tree, we will use the scribble effect. First, select the pen tool and then draw a slanted line. Press the letter V to select the line. Next, go to Effect, Stylize and choose Scribble. Here we can adjust the values to create the tree we desire. We can change the branches depth by adjusting the path overlap we can increase or decrease the number of branches by adjusting the spacing. We can adjust their curviness or adjust the slope angle. When you are done, click OK. Next, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select this anchor point and delete it. Let's adjust the handle of the top anchor point and move the bottom anchor point to align with the top one. If you wish, use the Curvature tool to add a curve. Let's zoom in. Select the bottom handle of this anchor point and drag it down to create a curve. And repeat this with the other sharp corners. Next, press the letter O for the Reflect tool, click on the top anchor point to set the reflection point and then click Hold and drag to create a copy. Switch to the Direct Selection tool, select the two anchor points on top and join them together. Next, create a small rectangle. Using the Add Anchor Point tool, add one anchor point along this path and another one along this path. Switch to the Direct Selection tool and select both anchor points. Now press the letter S for the Scale tool and then hit Enter. Let's change the Uniform Scale value to about 61% and 
and then click OK. Switch to the Direct Selection tool to show the round corner widgets. Now click on one of them and drag it out to create a curve. Let's align this shape to the center. Select both shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. If you wish, add a fill or adjust the stroke weight. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.